Jizzle, who is the here with you? Here. Oh my god! The devil is here! Who's, who's singing? Where is that coming from? I'm taking my camera, I'm getting the f*** out of here. Sister! Ah! 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 Oh my god! I'm genuinely scared right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I've never been more scared in my life than I am right now. This is... Who's there? <laughs> What was that? What did she say? I'll prove I'm here. Oh my god. Bro, I'll prove I'm here and that. I'm gonna turn my light off and when I turn it back on, I want you to be standing right in the mirror, okay? What the f Oh my god! I've been ghost hunting for about a year now and the footage that you're about to watch is from the night that I can wholeheartedly say is the scariest night of my entire life. What I experienced this night, I still think about to this day. The things that I heard, the things that I seen, the things that I felt, I'll never forget. By the end of the night, I was actually running, screaming for my life. I've, I never thought I could hit notes that high. How high? much i was scared so just get ready for a crazy video this location was filmed at the yorktown memorial hospital and oh man the history of this place is actually crazy I, just for starters there's a little chapel area in the hospital that they actually call the gates to hell because satanic rituals were performed in that room and i can 100 percent say there's something dark to this day there and maybe that's what we encountered but oh man listen guys if you are excited for this video make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers and i could only get there with your support and uh one last thing unfortunately our good friend ben is sick we went to an event over the weekend to meet tons of subscribers and on the way home he just wasn't feeling well and in the morning he informed me that he has the coronavirus so for the next little while we will not be filming and i'm very sorry about that but uh better be safe than sorry so we want him back to 100 percent, especially if we are doing ghost hunting and messing with some dark shit, right so yeah with that being said it is the halloween time and i really wanted to upload the scariest video we've ever done and i mean this is the scariest night of my life like i said so this was the one that i picked if you can send ben any loving messages down in the comment section below something like hashtag get well soon ben i know he would really appreciate it and once again thank you guys so much for your support we do have something massive coming the first week of november so make sure your notification bells are set because it's a newer video and it's a location that no one has ever investigated before but Above all else, let's get back to the video. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah, see you soon. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another paranormal investigation. Tonight, we're here at one of the most notoriously haunted locations in the entire world, Yorktown Memorial Hospital. Now, this hospital has tons of history. Uh, we were just Footsteps. Yeah. Back there? Yeah, everybody's on the camera. Um, like most hospitals, this one uh, got shut down for basically the same reasons. Um, malpractice, mistreatment. You guys know the drill with all types of hospitals and asylums. And with that also correlates to the amount of deaths that come in these locations. We're talking over 2,000 deaths in this very small hospital. And most of them were under very poor conditions and just... With poor conditions comes uneasy spirits, upset spirits, and they still reside here to this day. Now, this place is known to have some very violent spirits, and on top of that... Bro, there's something in here. Right? Yeah. It is also said to be haunted by some of the nuns that took place here. Obviously, right now, we are in the little chapel area, and... Um, this is said to be like the hot spot of the entire hospital. Now, before I get into this video, Angelo and Frank were outside just basically getting all their stuff ready and I was in here taking some cinematic shots. 
while I was taking the cinematic shots, I caught a ton of just sounds, voices. I'm gonna put that on screen for you right now. What the f was that? Um, bro, all right. Sounds like there's like running down the hallway. Hello? Okay, um, I was just taking a couple of like cinematic shots and all of a sudden I'm hearing banging. I'm hearing like female voices. With that being said, guys, if you want more haunted videos, make sure to leave a like on this video and we can make that happen for you guys. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We are so close to 400,000 subscribers. Guys, just do it. It's, it's so easy. Just press the little button to it. You know, the, st the demographics show that most of you guys that watch the videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. So come on. And with that being said, also make sure to subscribe to Angelo's channel. The link to that will be down in the description below because he'll have his own experience from this place. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Later on in the night, we're going to basically do alone challenges in here. So there's like a chain lock. So we're going to... What the... the hell was that? Hello? Sounds like a door. Yeah. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Something literally just moved down the hallway. You didn't see that? No, you were standing in front of me. There was some like white thing. Angel, footsteps above us. What the shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See anything? Nothing, I'm just saying like, what the hell was that? Oh, I have just heard the sound, I didn't see anything. Did you catch it on camera? I should have, I was aiming straight at it. Dude, I'm not even kidding, something like looked like it went right across. Literally, we just received a tour of the place from the uh, owner of the building. And he was telling us like some of the craziest things that he's had here, like people getting shot in the back, things getting stories. thrown, doors slamming shut. He said he's heard singing on numerous occasions, uh, amongst many things. Now, this isn't how I thought we'd start. Where the hell's Frank? Oh, he went to the gas yeah, station. Yeah, he's at the gas station. There's Tell no me. running water in this building, so if you want to use the bathroom or anything, you have to go to the gas station like two blocks away. Was that it? Uh, I think so. I'm telling you, we'll, we'll replay it and you'll see for yourself. Okay. Um, but we heard numerous sounds. It's sound, almost on like a door. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is that? Is that just a door chime? It sounded like it. Yeah. Frank, is that you? There's no way. The door No, is the door is... I, I closed it. Unless it just periodically beeps, I have no idea. There it is again. It sounds like somebody's coming in now. Listen. Hello, who's down there? I love how the clock's set to three in the morning. I know, right? Oh, dude, look at these beds. It's like the original beds. There's pillows on and everything. I think I just heard something. What'd you hear? Where'd it come from? Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, it's gonna be scary when you Ooh. split up here, man. Yeah, some of this stuff is in really, really like poor condition. Yeah. Ooh. Which I mean, I guess that could explain it. Like maybe something which like maybe the building's rotting. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But you said you saw something get thrown or like. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I was behind you. Yeah. So I didn't see anything. Excuse me. You didn't. What? Whistling. Oh yeah, I heard that. Oh. Ew. Attacked by the uh, the rain. There's whistling, yeah, bro. Yeah. Jesus, stop. Wait. It sounded like somebody was talking. Like a kid or something. So this hospital is home to children of all ages. Where is that coming from? I don't know. Bro, I, I'm just worried enough. I'm literally... Yeah. That is clear as day. I know the camera's picking this up. If I hear this stuff when I'm alone, I'm right? not gonna be able to like. <laughs> oh man. Well, back to the intro, I suppose. Um, yeah. Where was it? I don't even know. Um, we have a holiday giveaway going on. If you want to participate, we're giving away an iPhone 14 and a Samsung Galaxy S22. Simply just leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, who's there? I'm going to fire up the Spirit Box app right now. The Spirit Skinwalker Talker? Skinwalker Talker. Uh, yeah, if you want to participate in the holiday giveaway, leave a like, comment, and then share this video on any social media platform. That's it. You're entered into the giveaway. Uh, you could comment as many times as you want. Uh, who, who was that that just made that sound down there? Do you have a name? There's tons of sounds coming from down there. Sister Mary, are you with us right now? Sister Mary was like the head administrator slash nun that was in this area. And um, the owner was telling us that she's one of the most active ones. Mm -hmm. Glenn. Glenn. Whoa. Hey, Glenn, uh, where where are you? Hey, Glenn, can you tone it down with the sounds a little bit? Yeah. Man? We just started, man. Glenn, uh, how did you pass, if you don't mind me asking? Or if there's any information you want to give me about yourself, you know, what? how old are you? Are you in this room, room 114? Another name. Which name's that? Marjorie. Marjorie. Oh. So we got two names already. Yeah. Marjorie's oh. really not that common of a name. Like, no. you know, modern, I would yeah, it's guess not you could name. say. This is quite the start. Yeah. Um, is there anybody else with us? Or Glenn or Marjorie, do you have any information that you want to share with us? I'm going to sit you down right here. I'm going to sit down on this bed. Probably shouldn't. I'm going to sit down on this bed with you, all right? Oh, my God. <coughs> my chest got tight all of a sudden. Yeah. The fuck? Who was that? Glenn, was that you? Call. Call? Call. Are you calling me to come over there? I'll come.
Glenn, was that you? It's crying, bro. Yeah. Sounds oh, like something listen, like... listen, listen. Please don't move. That was legit like a child yeah, crying. Yeah. Are you still here? Whoa, whoa. Usually. Whoa, what Wait, happened? Should I, should I light down there? Over I'm at the end of the hall? I'm trying. I saw something. What did you see? I don't know. Kind of looked like a shadow. Usually. Usually. Do you cry usually? Were you mistreated in this hospital? That came from the, the chapel. We were getting sounds all over it. Yeah. This is nuts. Thank you so much for uh, communicating with us. Take picture. In which direction? In which... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is huge. Night shot photos right yeah. now? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Here, you take some in that direction, I'll take some in this direction. So first photo. What is up with the beeping though? I don't know. So this is the first photo. And I don't and I don't want to miss a thing. I don't see anything in this photo? No. Second photo. I'll check mine in a second, see if we got anything. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Third photo. This one was towards the chapel area. And this is the fourth photo. Don't scroll too far before uh Bro. Oh my god. What the hell is that? There's a face. There's a face in the photo, bro. Look. If I zoom in, right there. Hold on, turn the light off for a sec. Right. Look, there we go. There's a face right there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see something there. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That was in that direction. Yeah, yeah. Where where is it coming from? Oh my god. What the hell? So. Excuse my French, but I'm about to piss my pants, Angelo. So the face. The face I got was in this direction. Let me just double check something. All right, I'm firing back up the spear box. Who's down there? You told me to take a picture. Was that you? No, I'm in the middle of the hallway. So I'm still hearing something. I'm hearing talking mm -hmm. like a woman talking. I'm coming down. Marjorie or Glenn, was that you in the photo? Sister Mary, maybe? Whoa. Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Bro, what was her full name? Uh, Mary Monica. Mary Monica. Sister Mary Monica. Holy crap, it's like daylight in here. Sorry. Oh, so Elizabeth, the, the photo I took was of Elizabeth. Elizabeth, where are you? Look at all these like film reels in here. It's film reels? Oh, whoa. Look at that. Huh. 
Elizabeth. Wow. I saw your face right here, Elizabeth. Where are you, Elizabeth? Can you can you give me a sound that you're here with us, Elizabeth? I can make it cold. I can make it cold? It's freezing right it's, now. As soon as we got to this side, it's re it got real cold. And it's a warm night. You can see my breath. Yeah. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for giving us a sign that you're here. Ooh. Oh, man, it's even colder right here. Right where you're standing? Yeah. Yeah, it's that's like where I was like... one spot. Look, you can't see my breath in here. No. Is it warmer in there? Yeah. Like drastically warmer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, Elizabeth must be right here. Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth, for giving us Edward. Edward. We're getting names. Lots of names. I mean, two thousand over yeah. two thousand people passed here. Yeah, exactly. Wow, look at all the equipment in here, man. Whoa. This is nuts. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Spirometer. It's a spirometer. I don't know. What the hell is that? Like? What? I thought you were somewhere. Who's there? What the fuck was that? What did she say? I'll prove I'm here! Oh my god. Bro! I'll prove I'm here and that. Wow. Thank you! Oh my gosh. This is molding to be like one of the most intense nights we've right? ever had. Like we literally just got here. It's been 10 minutes, bro. 10 minutes of content. And this might be some of the, like, this might be 10 minutes of the best content I've ever filmed, period. I'll prove I'm here. That, come right? on now. Listen. Look down the hallway. Look how terrifying. Oh my God. You gonna have some fun with that red light tonight? Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> Godfrey, another name. There are tons another of names. Name. Right wow. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Elizabeth, especially. Thank you so much. We're gonna. Um, this wasn't intended to be like a start to investigate. We were just doing the intros. Yeah, yeah. And all of a we're sudden, literally like, just kind of exploring, really. Tons of like thuds. Yeah, a lot of a lot of noises. Look at this. Whoa. We're moving around. Whoa. As soon as we mentioned noises. What does this say? Protect yourself. Stop waiting for someone to save you. Oh, wow. Okay. That's deep. That is deep. Okay, well, um, let's head back there and then... Um... <laughs> we didn't even start your intro yet. Right? Like, I've just been... Man, I think so far these first 10 minutes is deserving of a big like because things are getting wild right Damn now. Damn right. Make sure to smash that like button, guys. Let's get let's get it going. Because um, we're going to be in here until, what, 5 in the morning? I mean, we technically have till 8 a.m., so True. whenever, I guess. But I think... What was that? What's that yellow thing like? Maybe you're flashing them with the light? Sorry. This symbol is very familiar, isn't it? Yeah. All right, well, um... So far, so good, I suppose. Dude, when I'm going to be in here alone tonight, I am going to be terrified. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well. There is one place that we definitely need to check out, but I think we need to do that together. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, before we leave, I just wanna put it out there. 
whatever spirits are here in this hospital, you are not allowed to attach yourselves to me or my friends. Three children here. Whoa. Can you tell us your names? Three children. Or maybe you already have. We were hearing kids earlier. Yeah. This is so like. Wow. What the heck was that? What'd you hear? Something like knocked and then I heard something go whew, like as if somebody breathed out did you was that you uh -uh. this place gives me that heebie -jeebie. yeah don't tell people whoa okay don't tell people what I guess we won't yeah I mean, your secret's safe <laughs> with us I guess and the other people who are watching back home <laughs> look at this casket that's crazy who's in there I don't know is there anybody inside this casket? Would it be rude to open it? Uh, I don't see why not. Actually, no, I'm gonna save that for later. This is crazy. All right. Well, um, we're gonna head out. Uh, we're gonna go investigate the rest of this place, the second floor, the basement. We're gonna just basically get things going. Uh, thank you so much for communicating with us so far. Uh, it's been insane. So, um, yeah. Angelo, do you have anything to say? Uh, at the moment, no. I guess we'll wait for you to have the last word. And then... Um... Keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we will. Um, all right, guys. We're going to get everything situated. We're going to wait for Frank probably to come back. And then um, we're going to investigate the basement everywhere. So get ready. If the rest of this video is anything like the first 15 minutes, you guys are in for quite the treat. <laughs> See you guys soon. All right, everybody. Gang's back together. And uh, we just had a crazy experience over on Angelo's channel. I was holding the camera for him. And we were getting some insane activity. Basically, what you just experienced in the first 15, 20 minutes on this channel very similar to what we experienced on Angelo's channel as well. And we were getting, as you saw, when we were using the Spirit Talker app for this channel, we were getting tons of names. Same thing for Angelo, tons of different names and all sorts of things. We had the most intense activity. It was nuts. On top of that, we went to go investigate some of the children's area and it was pretty crazy. Now I'm gonna inform you guys a little bit about this room as well. Now, just really quick, we're in the chapel area again. And the owner, when we were doing a tour, he called this place hell. Even though it's basically a chapel, it's supposed to be like the holiest part of the area. Uh, he called it hell because back then there was a lot of, how would I word this? They did evil, terrible, awful, horrible things, things here. Uh, basically. And he said, some people here worshiped up above, but some people here also worshipped down below. Now, there was a period of time where this building was completely abandoned. And in that time, there was a lot of break-ins. And down in the basement, people did legitimate satanic rituals. Like they sacrificed living things to the devil. And we thought about it and we said, you know what? I think it's best if we go down there together mm -hmm. and basically do like a little seance, a spirit box session and see if we could get any information about what happened. So, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do yeah, this. I'm ready. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to maybe inform Frank a little bit about what happened? Yeah, you can yeah. I mean, apparently I missed a whole lot here. Yeah. So, like, yeah. what, what happened? Like, what you said, crazy experiences. I'm just so curious now, like, what's happened? Well, it said your name, for one. Yeah, on Angela's what, channel, it said Frank's name. Yeah. The Spirit Box app. The, the Spirit Talker app actually oh, said your name. Um, Go figure. And the last thing the Spirit Box app said was he's going to get you. Oh. Yeah. Well, so we don't know if it was so like talking. I don't know if it was resorting to <laughs> Should I just get out of here now? I don't or know, like... but it said something else yeah. too after we had stopped recording. It said something and yeah, I don't, I don't really remember specifically what it was, but it was a little bit. 
Yeah. Very violent. Malicious sounding. Yes. Yeah. So I guess we'll go to the basement. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Now, there's one thing that we're really scared of. Uh, when we were getting the tour, <laughs> the owner said that there's an eight foot long snake in the basement. Oh. Yeah. So. Grab the knife. Yeah, grab the knife. <laughs> Here we go. Even the owner told me to carry the knife, so. Yeah. He did mention that it was on the stairs once. Yeah, just sprawled out. Yeah, he said it covered the entire stairwell. Yeah, yeah. so let's. Uh... Okay, so we're down here in the basement right now, and I have to tell you about a couple of stories that happened down here that are just absolutely nuts. Now, first and foremost, I'm in this room where the satanic rituals were taking place, <laughs> um, and it's it's a really eerie feel right now like you could feel the negative energy like it makes your chest so tight right um the people literally offered like living beings to the devil and stuff like that and I, if you believe in that stuff then you know it's pretty creepy if you don't it's still weird when you factor in the fact that people broke in here and like brought animals or whatever they brought in to sacrifice the fuck was that? They're in the basement with me. I, I don't know if that's them, but <laughs> um, okay. So the first story I'm gonna tell you. Now before I tell you the story, I want to put a massive trigger warning because it's very very bad. It's dark. It's uh, involves NSFW, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Please 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 understand. There's a massive trigger warning right now. Now this story oh, it makes me so. The second floor is a nun quarters, and there's tons of rooms where basically the nuns slept and, you know, did whatever they did. Relaxed, chilled, you, you get the drill. Two of the nuns were R-word by the pastor and they became pregnant. The pastor forced them to have abortions to prevent the story from like getting out and it got out anyways, but regardless of the fact, he forced, yeah, it just like makes me sick just even talking about this, but he, he forced the nuns to have abortions and he, Mm. They took the fetuses and they put them in the incinerator down here. And mm, it's such a fucked up story, man. It's a, it's a lot of dark, dark history here. You could just feel the negative energy. That... The second story is pretty bad as well. There was a woman who was cheating on her significant other with some guy down here in the boiler room in the basement. Now, the significant other found out he saw it happen. He went upstairs to the kitchen, grabbed the biggest knife he could find, came down here, killed the guy, killed the significant other, the woman, and then killed himself. And the owner said that the original blood from that day is still here. They never cleaned it up. They left it here. And he says that room is pretty bad as well. Like you could vividly like still get in contact with those spirits. So uh, let me show you around because this area is... Uh, Pretty crazy now. This is one of the rooms. And if you look straight ahead right there, that is the incinerator that I was talking to you about. And this just makes me sick to my stomach. Just absolutely sick. Knowing like what happened in this building, it's... I'm gonna see if I can find the guys. Hey, Angelo Frank? Guys? I think they're that way. Angelo? All right, so we just received a photo of where the blood is on the wall. It's here in this boiler room, and yet that's it right there. Yeah, you can actually see it. Yeah. So that's why it was harder. Look, it's all it's over the wall. It's like, yeah, it's like spots are everywhere. So we're standing right where three people died. Two of them brutally murdered. Yeah. And one suicide. And one suicide. So it's up to you. Do you want to start off with a spirit box session here or over there? Yeah, we can set up the uh, spirit box here. And REM pod. REM pod. Cool, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bro. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. Angela just turned the REM pod on and we were already getting, look at that. 
I'm gonna try to get some capitals as well. I'm gonna fire up the uh yeah. screw back second. Oh, we got a few things going on. Whoa. Oh wow. Bro, did the cap all stop? And then it started again? No, it, it was just going. It was going the whole time. Right? Yeah. So much. I'm gonna turn down the lights a little bit so we can see more uh... Yeah. This is nuts. Whoa. Alright, spear box session is rolling. Whoa. Has it ever done that? Yeah. A couple of them. Very rare. Very rare. Okay. Who's in this room with us right now? Were the spirits of the people who were murdered that here? It's not malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah. No, it has stopped. Light. Yeah. yeah. Well, the fact that it's completely reset now is uh, a good sign. Put one more down there. That's crazy because that didn't even go off by that. Yeah. So, like, you know, something's really close to that. Jesus. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh. Interesting so far. I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless right now. Like Jesus, what? Unfortunately, we don't know their names. Can you tell yeah, us your know. names? What was that? Was that you making a... Oh. And it's pointing that way. It's pointing that way. That direction. That's really interesting. Hey Jess, can you lower the light on your camera just a touch so that we can get a better visual when things light up? It's someone else. Whoa. It's someone else? So who is it? We asked if it was the people who were murdered, so if it's not them, who's with us? That has not stopped. Like it's blinking right now, red. It's been going crazy. Wow. Wow. All right. Um... Can you make a noise of some sort, or maybe even touch us physically to let us know that you're here with us right now? I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Hold on, hold on. Remember when I asked if it was the people who were murdered here? Mm -hmm. Isn't it like in the religion, if you kill yourself, you go to hell, right? You don't go to heaven. Or, uh, yeah. Thank you for talking. You're welcome. Thank you for talking to us. Or purgatory. Yeah, you get stuck in purgatory, essentially. So, am I right? Whoa. Am I right? Whoa. Whoa. That's wild. So and what's, you said what's crazy is that's actual REM and a temperature change at the same time. At the same time. time. Something so, strong is with us right now. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. That's with the temperature change, but there was a whole lot of REM. Okay, well, can you make it stop Candle. now? Candle. Can you stop that? What the hell? It's never done that before. It's like... S can you please stop that? What the hell? I'm sorry, guys. This might not be the most appealing thing to hear, but... Yeah. Okay, well, there you Thank go. you. What did that thing say? Candle? Candle. That's interesting. Should we, like, light a candle and see if it goes out? I don't have any. <laughs> What's your name? Let's introduce ourselves. Maybe it really wants to talk to us. Remember, I said thanks for speaking with us. No. Yeah. So, I'll go, I'll start. My name is Yasko. I'm joined with my friends. Angelo. And Frank. Um, very nice to meet you. Very nice to uh, be in your presence. It's an honor. If you'd like to come forward and give us some more information about who you are, we would really appreciate it. Um, we know that there's many people in this area, but we're trying to contact with people who are in this room specifically, maybe stuck in this room or, you know, prefer... Can you feel me? That's wild. That's wild. Can you... 
That's crazy. I we have you guys, but it's really, really cold here all the time. Really? Yeah. Like frigid where I'm standing. And it's warm outside, guys. It's, it was 20 degrees. Um, we do have these three other items here on the ground. Um, they will light up if you touch them. Yeah, Maybe for example. Just like Wyatt. that. Wyatt. What? Wyatt. The name. W-Y-A-T-T. Wyatt. Can you tell us who you are, Wyatt? <coughs> Wyatt, were you murdered down here? Or are we talking to the one who did the murdering? It's Grandad. It's Granddad. Granddad. And then that's going off right after. Wait, when we asked what the sounds were, is that Granddad making the sounds over there? Is that Granddad in the back there? Keep this running. I'm going to go take a look. I'll be right back. Granddad, are you down here? Hello? Who was that making that sound over here? Wyatt, was that you? Wyatt. You here with us, Wyatt? I guess not. I thought maybe it was Wyatt, but... What did that say? Bone. Okay. What the hell is that? Wyatt? Was that you? I'm like shaking right now. I'm like genuinely shaking. Wyatt, was that you? Okay. I'm gonna go back. Anything else? No, I brought this uh, flashlight like a blood tracker, so it kind of makes it a little more noticeable. It really makes it a little yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, you gotta lower your light to be able to see it better. But... I see. Oh yeah, you could definitely yeah, see it. I can see it a lot more. Look at all that. Wow. Uh, bro? Yeah? Charles. Charles? Charles. Charles, is this your blood on the wall? If so, give us a sign. Maybe turn off this flashlight. I don't know what's going on with that. It keeps switching on sound. Do you have a phone? Yeah. I'm sorry for what happened to you guys. Uh, It's almost like a thank you, or maybe. <clears throat> the lights. The lights. What you were just talking about the flashlight. Yeah, that's right. Did you want me to shut off the camera light? You know what? Yeah. Let's go lights out. Go lights out. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this light on um, red right now. Yeah, that's fine. Just so we can have something. Were our lights bothering you? What the heck? That was, that was like a yes. Dude, yeah. that's Stuart. Stuart? It's really weird because this REM pod has never done this before. Like this sudden, like. It's almost like it's sending us like Morse code. So it if anybody really knows Morse code. <laughs> yeah. Well. Whoa. Right? Whoa. That's like Morse code. Are you sending us Morse code? Look, 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 look. I do apologize. 
apologize. It was kind of noisy. I Eleven. Get it, but. Eleven. Yeah. Is that how old you were? I've never seen the rim pop do this. I know. You want to try resetting it and seeing if it still pops up? Yeah. J just like for confirmation. Sorry for the guys at home with the uh, earphones, but. Headphone warning. Yeah. It's a little late for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the disclaimer. I'm giving you full permission to touch me right now. Use your strength, use your energy, and touch me or my friends right now. You are given full permission. Feel free to grab Frank's booty. We we know you clearly know who he is already. Mm -hmm. Well, someone in here does anyway. Somebody knows. I wonder if my friend has followed me from home. That's a possibility. Are you here? Lies. Ooh. Lies. Hmm. So I guess it's not that. I guess he's not here. Or it. Ooh, I'm actually satisfied with that answer. Let's just stop right now. Yeah, the rim pot is completely quiet though. Can you make it go off how you were doing it earlier? Can you do that again for us? Use your energy, come forward. We got a lot of responses already. Yeah, so. they're just so crazy with the blood spray. How about this question? Whose blood is this? Well, when I asked that, it said Charles. Charles? Everett. Oh, there you go. Just got another name. Charles and Everett. Huh. Well, remember, it was more than one person's blood. And that was almost instant. Yeah. That's an interesting name. Everett, are you here with us? It's interesting how here when we ask names it's like direct yeah it's like weird within a second i mean we're talking you. 2000 possible here you want to turn that light on frank sure. um well thank you so much for communicating with us we're gonna go investigate the rest of the building so please feel free to communicate with us for the rest of the night um we're gonna be using equipment like this throughout the night and um yeah once again, thank you, uh, Everett, Charles, Wyatt, everybody. Feel free to come join us anywhere else in the building. Doorway. What? Like I said, maybe they, they're moving on. That's why they went towards the doorway? I mean, it would make sense, right? I suppose, yeah. Or maybe they're trying to guide us? Maybe. Somewhere else? They're waiting for us to go with them. I'm gonna keep this rolling. I'm gonna head back upstairs. Then. Yeah. Let's do this. This is getting wild. Stop. Oh, yeah. 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 Actually, it's being crazy for what you guys said earlier. So. Where do you want us to go next? You said doorway. Where? Where to next? Where's the next area? You tell me where. Pregnant. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, yeah. I said, where do you want me to go next? It said pregnant. Does it want us to go to the incinerator? That would have been upstairs because the, the pregnant nuns were upstairs remember the priest the second floor yeah well they also put the put the, the fetuses the fetuses in the incinerator i guess it's a question it's a double option maybe we can go upstairs first and then come back yeah let's do it yeah let's see why not. this is wild man this room gives me the heebie-jeebies for real what are you doing in there you're atoning for your sins um i believe you are Yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, 
gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> Sounds good. So this is a very interesting Estes method that we're about to do. Uh, we're gonna be sitting in confession booths and he's going to be asking me from one side of the, so basically how it's set up is that there's windows from each room to each room. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> close you in there, Angelo. And I will be sitting in the confession booth next to Angelo and he will be asking me some questions, whereas I will have these headphones on and I will turn this up to max volume, L30. And we're gonna start sweeping this. Cool. Um, Angelo, ask anything, go crazy. We're currently in the chapel that the owner calls hell. So use that to your uh, knowledge. Uh, everybody, just so you see, I have a K2 meter in here. And then I also have a couple cat balls over here that move based on touch. So you guys can see all that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, close my eyes, and just let Angelo take the wheel. So... Okay, I'm ready. Ready, 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 let's go. Is there anybody here with us? Sarah. Were you a patient here, Sarah? Sister. So you lived here then? Tell us what kind of terrible things might have happened here, Sarah. Bro, it's... Uh, this is so weird. I've never experienced this before in an Estes method. I'm hearing, like, like footsteps into my ears. It's like... Is there someone walking around? Danger. What are those noises going on in there? Uh, it's raining heavy outside. Oh, okay. Sisters. How many sisters are here? Sarah again? Maple? Maple? Mabel, I think. Maple. May Maple? Like maple syrup? Or can you repeat that for me? Erica. Upstairs. Where upstairs are you? Baby. Pregnant. Were you impregnated by the priest? Casket. Vulnerable. Hmm. Weird. Why do they call this hell? 
whoa, ho, 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 ho. That like, I've been getting voices that were like female. That one was like very, very, like, it was like a deep voice. It was like, devil. Wow. Is the devil here? Always. Home. Kill. Death. Torture. What the f***? Were people tortured here? Oh. What? What happened? I heard like a scream. Like it was like a... Eah! Oh, dude, the hairs on my head are like raising. Yeah. Shortly before you did that, I heard a female voice down the hall. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, at all. I'm getting tons of, like, female names coming through. Yeah, like, you a few there. A few, yeah. I heard, like, a female voice in the building. Is Maple a name? Mabel? Maple? Mabel? Is that a name? Yeah, that would be. It would be? Okay, I couldn't tell. I, I didn't know if it was Maple or Mabel. Yeah. Should I continue? All right, yo, ask some like really hardcore questions right now because, yeah, because I do. If I'm getting screams and like deep, deep, dark, scary voices, go, go ham. Okay. All right. And you know what I'm gonna do too? <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. All right, seriously. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm gonna put this on. All right, go. There is Sister Mary Monica here. Wheelchair. What about the wheelchair? Botch. They do Mistake. They did. Were people experimented on here? Guilty. Yes. Affirmative. Behind you. Hallway. What's in the hallway? Sisters. Were the sisters evil? Were the doctors evil? Secrets. What kind of secrets? Uh, I'm getting so many voices in my ears right now. This is genuinely terrifying. I feel like millions of words are coming at me in like in a second right now. Did someone summon something demonic downstairs? Darkness. Pagan. Was there a human sacrifice made? Ah. Gates. What about the gates? Here. Open. Portal, travel, attack. 
because it's a gate to hell? Yes. You're demons, next. How many demons are here? So many. Can you give me a number? Alone. Help, Frank. What do you want with Frank? Danger is here. Get out. Hide. No way out. Hallway. What's in the hallway? He's coming. Hide. Frank. What do you want with Frank? Casket. I'm here. Are you going to hurt one of us if we stay? You're dead. I'm here. Amazing Grace. I can't do this shit no more, man. Holy fuck. Hey, what's going on? Dude. <coughs> I cannot tell you how terrifying it is for me to hear you say what you have said. What did I say? Uh, I mean, apart from some of the very... Frank, dead, yeah, casket. Like, like, like we've heard this before, something. and we have it on recording. That's wild. And you know nothing of this. I don't know. I don't know. And you've repeated exactly what we've heard. Really? On point. Like, I'm in tears right now. I've got tears running down my eyes. What happened? We could talk about this in a sec. Bro, it, it kept, it like, got distinguished. Like, at first, I was getting, like, female voices. Yeah. And it seemed so pure, so nice. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't have a problem speaking. And then all of a sudden, it just kept getting, like, deeper, deeper, darker. Mm -hmm. Like, the voice was, like, raspy. It sounded like, like, casket. Like I'm here. Like and and then That's at one funny. point, at one point it just kept sounding like there were, it was coming so so many voices like at once. It was so weird. 
Uh, your turn? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Damn, I can't wait to rewatch this. Um, I'm also kind of worried to go alone mm -hmm. now because how many times that said alone? Yeah. Like, it kept saying alone, alone, alone. Like, and we were we were planning earlier for all three of us to go alone one by one. Spend like a half hour each and just kind of like see how it goes. So I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, here's everything. Um. Angela's turn. Um, see that on his channel, I guess. I guess just leave everything in there. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, it's the part of the night I absolutely dread. It is alone time. So I'm going to aim for like 20, 30 minutes tops in here, completely alone. Uh, Angela and Frank are outside. And so Angela went first. He had some pretty terrifying experience experiences. Then Frank went second. And Frank actually got attacked. He has three like gashes on his like hip right here and it just keeps getting like thicker and thicker and it was really weird because when angela was hello i think that's them leaving hold on before i begin Oh yeah, they're over there. Hold on, I just saw their light. Okay, well, whatever. Um, it was really weird because every time Angelo got closer to Frank, the screen would get foggy and whatnot. I'm hearing all types of things right now. I have a couple of uh, equipment items I'm going to use, REM pod, cat balls, and I'm actually gonna continuously use the Spirit Talker app because we got some crazy stuff through this so far. So here we go, app is on. Make sure my sound is all the way up and uh here we go that's rolling so uh listen that's not like singing it might be coming from upstairs upstairs is the nurse's quarter so let's go check that out okay spirits i like music oh my god I just said I'm hearing, like, singing, and it says I like music. Are you singing to me? Oh my god, okay. So, upstairs is the nurse's quarter, and, oh, almost just tripped. Some pretty creepy stuff up here. This is actually where um, they assaulted the nurses who became pregnant and force them to have abortions. Hello? I'm just like wondering about that singing. Where are my ashes? Where are my ashes? Were you cremated? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Bro, where are my ashes? The babies that were put into the incinerator? Is that them? Did they just leave? I think they just went to the gas station. Oh. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the REM pod right here. So, uh, spirits, if you would like to use this piece of equipment right here, I'm gonna turn it on. Sorry for the sound that's incoming in a second, guys. Okay. Okay, it's on. Uh, what's going on? Wait. My name. My name. What is your name? And what is going on right now? What? What is? Okay. How about we put you on this chair right here? I'm just trying to get this to turn on. Rem zero, rem range. Okay, try this. This is literally what was going on in the basement earlier as well. This place is so active, it's crazy. 
It's coming to a stop. Okay, I finally got the REM pod to stop going off. Now, it's ready. It's set. It's going. Okay, there we go. REM pod is set. Um, you made it go crazy earlier. Could you possibly use your energy to use the REM pod? Come forward, let me know that you're here. Tell me your name, tell me anything possible. So, my name is Yasko. Um, it's just me and you right now, or you all and I. If there's anything that you want to share with me, just tell me. I'm telling the truth. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, this right here is where a lot of bad things happen to the nurses. Uh, this room specifically. So, is anybody here with me right now? Are the nurses here with me in this room? If you want to show yourself in this mirror, please come forward and show yourself. This is me right here. If you want to show yourself in the mirror as well, behind me, in front of me, come on forward. I'm going to turn my light off and when I turn it back on, I want you to be standing right in the mirror, okay? What the f Bro! Stuck here. Stuck here, okay. Um. Oh my god, I have chills throughout my entire body. Alright, you're coming with me. Pal. Now we're gonna go investigate the rest of this place. Talk about activity. Earlier when I was with Angelo, we came up here and I felt a very strong entity right here in this chair. And I to right now I still feel as if someone is sitting in that chair. Do you have a name? Who is sitting in this chair right now? Can you please tell me your name? Cold. Cold. Okay. Yeah, it is very cold right now. Like out of nowhere, it just got severely cold. If that wheelchair starts like rolling down the hallway, I'm going to lose it. Okay. So this room was where the nurses would hang out, relax. Uh, God, that just shakes me to my core, honestly. Amelia. Okay. Now we get a name. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and sit down over here. Please, please join me at the table. I'm going to nicely just put my camera down here and I'm going to have a seat with you. And you know what? I'm a gentleman. Have a seat with me. Let's have some tea or Whatever nurses like. Susan. Susan. Hello. Susan, it's an absolute pleasure. Susan, if you have anything that you want to tell me, please uh, come forward and let me know. Um, I'll tell you anything you want to know about myself. My name is Yasko. And, you know, I come to places like this for a living, basically. And... I investigate the place. I get to know people who are potentially stuck or trying to get to the other side or maybe residing still here. This is their home. They don't know anything else but this. If you'd like to speak to me, actually, how about this? Let me know that you're here. Use your energy. Make some type of sound like this. Maybe touch me physically. Let me know that you're here right now. No pressure. Take all the time you need.
Thank you, Susan. Pagan. 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 I believe that's a religion. I or it's a type of belief. I think. I actually don't know. I don't want to sound stupid and say the wrong thing, but pagan. Okay. Um, Susan or any of the spirits here, for that matter. Listen, there is a device at the end of the hallway. If you can make that go off, please come forward and do so. I heard someone singing earlier. Who was that? Was that you, Susan? Whoo! Oh, man. I just felt like something like touched my neck. Like a very sensual touch. Who was that? Oh man, okay. How long have you been here? 1700s. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, Susan. Um, I'm letting my guard down for you, all right? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna give you full control. Come forward, make yourself comfortable. You know, just understand that I'm on your side and I wanna help you in whatever way I possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes. And if you wanna come forward, if you wanna make any sort of sound, if you wanna to physically touch me, please come forward and do so. If there's any information you wanna give me, touch any of the equipment that I have here or down the hallway. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Susan. That's, that's, that's what I want to talk to you about. Susan, I heard that there was a couple of nurses in here that uh, had a couple of bad uh, experiences, shall I say. I'm so sorry to hear what happened to you and to the other nurse involved. And actually, I'm sorry to hear about everything that happened here. It seems that there was a lot of malpractice and mistreatment that was going on in this building. If you want to talk about it, please just let me know how this, you know, affected you or how it, you Asset. know, hurt you. I'm gonna... S so I have a cat ball right here that moves on physical touch. I'm gonna leave this right here on this chair. And I'm gonna have one on the table. Please. Make that go off. Let me know that you're sitting with me. Let me know that you're comfortable with me and that you want to talk to me in whatever way possible. <sighs> My chest is getting heavy. I have a bruised rib right now, cracked rib. I mean, it could be that, but like, damn, right now it feels tight. It feels like really like, feels like my chest is closing in on me right now. Is there anything else that you want to tell me, Susan? It seems that you were like very badly affected by what happened. You had a bad life. You had a hard life. I mean, um, I have one question for you, if you don't mind. We will make a noise. You will make a noise. Holy shit. The spirit box just said we will make a noise. And then something moves in the hallway. Thank you so much, Susan. Or whoever that was. By you saying we, I know there's multiple of you. I want to get up right now and continue investigating the rest of this place, but we're getting some crazy, crazy stuff right now. I'm going to ask a couple more questions. I'm over here. Where are you? You said you're over here. Can you make a sound to let me know what direction you're in? To the left, to the right, are you sitting here with me? Sounds like you're in the hallway. Do you want me to come in the hallway? I mean, it seems like you're not sitting with me. Do you want me to come to you? 
Are you maybe in that wheelchair that's down the hallway? I'm asking way too many questions right now. I'm just really excited. <laughs> oh, man. This is some amazing. Thank you so much, by the way, for communicating with me. But my only question is, is there something evil with us here? Busy. Busy. I just want to know because sometimes spirits will act nice to get you to lay your guard down. And then once you lay your guard down, you're vulnerable. And once you're vulnerable, they can do whatever they want to you. And that could have quite possibly, you know, happened to Frank. He let his guard down and got scratched, you know? <sighs> Poor guy. I hope he's doing all right. Hope he's doing all right. Um... Can you let me know who hurt Frank? Does who does the person who hurt Frank have a name or a reason why they hurt Frank? It's really quiet now. Even the REM pods like complete. The crazy thing is the REM pods are going nuts. And all of a sudden, it's almost like it's moving away. Potentially. Potentially. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start coming uh, down the hall more. You said you're down the hall. I'm going to keep this in here. You keep on talking to me. I'm going to investigate the rest of this place. <coughs> I'm just shitting my pants right now because of the damn uh, singing that I heard. That's what scares me. This table. It's like a legit like table made for chess. That's so cool. Rempad's still on. Alright, cool. Alright, well, I'm going to head downstairs maybe. Because I think this is it for this hallway. Hell. Hell? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's kind of crazy because the owner, when he was giving us the tour, he said that, oh, my gosh, it really said hell. Okay, well, the owner literally said that he calls the chapel hell. Maybe it's indicating for me to go to the chapel. Maybe that's where I heard the singing come from. Like, this place is very echoey. Like, ah, it travels throughout the entire building, you know? So, maybe I'll go down to the, the chapel. Um, I think you go, yeah, you can go down this way as well. Anybody in here? Is there any spirits in here with me? Just a bunch of chests. A couple of luggages. Ugh. Oh, there's a, another floor. Okay, so this is like the, I don't even know what you would call this. Erica. Erica. Erica, were you singing to me? <sighs> Man, I just got like chills all over my body right now. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm like super emotional right now. Ah, what is this feeling, bro? My eyes are tearing. What is this feeling? There's something here. Something or someone is here with me right now. Erica. All right, I'm coming down, Erica. Escape. Escape. All right, Erica, I'm coming down. Now, we, we got some crazy answers on the Estes method earlier. I just want to double check down here because I want to figure out where the hell that, uh, like, music was coming from. That's the one thing I'm wondering. I just realized something. Why is that chair, like, knocked over in the hallway? Huh. That was upstairs. Um, 
Okay. Couple of things. You know what? I don't know what to do right now. I'm like at a loss. I'm genuinely at a loss. I'm so scared. I'm genuinely scared right now. You've got to be careful. Okay, will do. I will definitely be careful. Do, who should I be careful from? What was that? Who should I be careful from? Hello? Oh my gosh. I'm hearing all types of sounds right now. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You're scaring the shit out of me, Sarah. But thank you at the same time. Whoa. Bro, is it me or is it getting like extremely foggy right now? Bro, it is foggy as all hell right now. Bro, something is over there, and I'm like, oh, honest to God, I'm stalling right now. No, you know what? It's time I face my fears, bro. No, 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 no. Who's there? Sarah, was that you? Sarah, I'm coming down. Who's doing this? Who's making all these sounds? Feel. Feel. Yeah, I'm feeling many things right now. What is that? Who just touched me? Hold on. Before I do anything, I just want to make sure that the door is like completely locked. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Yeah, it's not. <sighs> okay, we move, we move, we move. REM pod still hasn't been going off, so there's nothing upstairs. Or at least I don't think so. Is that singing? I feel hopeless. I hear singing coming from down the hallway. It literally sounds like a woman singing. What the fuck is going on? I think it's coming from the chapel. Who is that? I said 30 minutes, right? We're at what, 20, 23, 20 something? All right, I'm coming in. Whoever's in here singing, I'm coming in, Erica. I asked earlier, you said it was an Erica. And he's like, you know what I'm gonna do too? Let's go. Great. Did you just say great as I'm closing the door? Is that great to you? All right. Okay, I'm hearing all types of things right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera right here. And what I'm going to do Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte, are you the one who's singing? 
actually you know what i'm gonna put my camera here i'm trying to find a spot where like i could sit down yeah this will do okay just trying to make sure my camera doesn't fall down what the fuck is that what the hell is that okay Make sure this is good. All right, how does that look? All right. Here we go. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for this. Um, we just heard Erica through this beer box. Um, I asked who was singing. They said Erica. And it genuinely sounded like a woman, like singing prove. All right, well, this is your chance to prove to me. All right. Um, uh, I'm genuinely scared right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be 100% honest. I've never been more scared in my life than I am right now. This is... Something about this right now is making me so weak. Like, my whole body just feels like... Uh, here we go. Spirits of this chapel. Spirits of Yorktown Memorial Hospital. Please use all your energy right now use it to the, your fullest potential use it as much as you possibly can communicate with me make yourself known make some sounds like you have been doing all night long i give you permission to touch me physically i give you permission to is there if there's anything that you want to tell me tell me right now sit are you sitting Next to me, right now. Whoa. Whoa! What the fuck? No! No, no, no! My camera light is on like a hundred. What? Bro, when they were doing the alone challenge, I charged my light. It's still, what the f What is going on? Hearse. What? Hearse. Hearse. Hold on. I think I have more lighting over here somewhere. You know what, actually? I'm gonna use Angelo's camera light. Please don't kill me, Angelo. It's for a good cause. I swear. Literally, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking right now. I'm like legit panicking. Angel, please don't kill me. Oh my God. Okay. We got Angelo's light. There is, there's hope. There's, there's hope in society. Let's put the light over here. That doesn't really do much. Um. How do I? This, this does not make life any easier. How does that look? Oh my god, I'm panicking right now. They're worried too. Just who is here with me? Oh my god! The devil is here! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack, bro. Where are you? Bro, they call this room hell. This is a chapel. They call this room hell. And it just said the devil is here. My light just turned off. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Can you give me a sign that you're here? You're the devil, right? You're supposedly the most powerful being there is, right? Give me a sign that you're here. Give me like a little something. Anything. Francis. Francis. Oh my God, what did they say that the pastor's name was? 
I almost feel like the pastor's name was Francis. I'm gonna, oh, oh my God, my head. Oh my God, my head, oh my God. Oh my goodness, hold on. Beatrice. Beatrice, ah. Uh, oh my goodness, my head. Uh, who's here with me right now? Who is? Okay, let me just calm down for a second. Wait a second. Bro, Angelo's light just turned off. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, help me right now, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I'm running out of light to scream. What did that just say? Alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. Bro. I'm so scared right now. I... This is the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. All I have left are these. Angelo's light died on me. This light died on me. You know what, actually? Devil's here, right? All right, devil. Where are you? Sit down with me. Oh man, I might really push in it. What's your name? Give me a name. Okay, okay. Composure, Jazz, composure, composure. All right. I heard singing earlier. Am I losing my marbles or did I actually hear singing earlier? Can you, can you at least tell me that? Okay. That was a thud. Was that like a yes? That was a response. Listen, listen. Sounds like footsteps. It sounds like footsteps literally right here. Who's right here? Fred, is that you? I have never been so scared in my life. I'm genuinely telling you right now. This is a different type of energy. This is like something I've never ever experienced in my life. Mabel. Mabel. M-A-B-E-L. That's a very beautiful name you have. Mabel. Listen. Bro. Hold on. What? Is... I feel like I'm going crazy right now. I'm very happy. <laughs> of course you are. Oh my god. I'm hearing all types of things, bro. I heard singing earlier. I heard banging. I heard all types of things. The Everything is just going wrong. I think I'm going to end this session right now. I, I genuinely don't think I can hang any longer. I'm, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Thank you so much for communicating with me. It, it was quite the experience, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Who, who's, who's singing? Where is that coming from? I'm taking my camera, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Ah! 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 Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get the fuck out of here! I just rewatched the footage from that night as well. Now keep in mind, this was filmed about 10 months ago. This was around the time where I first started doing ghost hunting. And although I was a little bit inexperienced, 
what we experienced that night was horrifying. Uh, I have no idea. I can't even put it to words. It was the scariest night of my life, hands down. I don't know what the hell is in that room. Um, I, I hope to God that you guys could hear what I heard as well, but it definitely sounded like a, a woman started singing and then this was going wrong, this was going wrong, equipment malfunctioning, door slamming. Uh, it was too much to handle. And, you know, I could, uh, listen, it, it was so different, you know, when I was actually there. And I'm thinking right now, yeah, like I do want to go back. You know, I'll go back for a part two, but man, just watching this back brings back some really bad memories. But you know what? I'm going to make it up to you. If you want me to go back, me and Ben, me, Ben, and Angelo, we will do it. Smash this like button. Let's get this to 15,000 likes. And you have my word. If this video hits 15,000 likes, we will go back and we will attempt to stay the entire night at the Yorktown Memorial Hospital. We'll see you guys soon. And uh, get ready because this coming week is the biggest video on my channel. Make sure your notification bells are on and we'll see you soon.